in they're ju just jumping straight into the game once again we don't even have, to have time to talk about yeah. the other games. <laughs> Probably don't even see the mulligan. I hope you do, though. I mean, Powder pretty much just coming back from 4-0. is 4 now against Lumpy now, but he needs to win two more in order to actually advance. Mm -hmm. We see Wumpy has his Warlock available, so he went for the Handlock. Yes, it certainly looks like a Handlock. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and it's it a Handlock is. for sure. And that's a very good matchup for the, the Handlock in general. Although as is of it lately... Really? Well, in my opinion, it is. I love playing the that matchup, and I feel really favored as a uh, the handlock. But as of lately, people have been uh, considering that Combo Druid is a better chance versus handlock than it did before. I've always said that Combo Druid is um, favored against handlock. And whenever I, I played a lot of handlock, and whenever I played against handlock, I, the least match, least favorite matchup for me was Druid. Especially if the that's druid, so <laughs> especially if the druid runs um, Black Knight and BGH, that's like almost you can't, you cannot, you cannot ever win. Still, but that's two outs, and you gotta draw them. And if you don't draw the BGH early on, that's gonna be so. Well, rough. keep in mind, there's keeper for the Twilight Rakes. Uh, and that's that's two for two, right? Two keepers for two Twilights, one BGH for four Giants. And the combo just can clear so much too. Yeah, but if you enable their Moltons, you you're such in a bad spot. But you just don't enable them. Anyway, <laughs> we're, we're, we're commenting on this game and we will see how it unfolds. Ignite says he, it's favored for the handlock. I say it's favored for the druid. You want to take bets? <laughs> I, I, don't I, don't I, I, I don't think that's condoned anyway. But uh, Yeah, I don't think I want to <laughs> be a betting man when it comes to Hearthstone games. But we, I'm pretty sure that Powder is going to be favored simply based on the fact that he has that Black Knight already. Yeah, and that shade might have huge value as well later on if it manages to survive. Hellfire is able to clear the board very effectively, though. Whatever. Well, sort of effectively since there's a two-drop coming off. It was also very smart to kill that um, Armani Berserker with the Mountain Giant, even though it doesn't seem like that, because wasting eight damage is kind of rough. But there was a Wrath. Look at even top deck the Wrath, so he could have Wrathed his own Armani Berserker that, and then kill off the. He could also enable it with Keeper, if he wanted to. Yeah. Either that or a Wrath for Kartra and to kill off the Giant with the Armani Berserker. So very smart play by Vampy there. Mm -hmm. What threat is he going to drop now, though? He has double Twilight and Mountain. Like, he has had the dream opener for Handlock versus Druid. He had two Mountains and two Twilights. That's just huge. Yeah, it's so hard for Druid to actually deal with those mo early Mountain Giants uh, unless they have the BGH. Exactly. But as I was saying, like he hasn't drawn a BGH yet. And this is the second Giant already. And there's a BGH on the Handlock side. Yeah, that BGA is going to come in a big way, killing off that Dr. Boom. Unless these Boom bots are like RNG gods of their own, this is going to be really rough for the Druid. There's also a Black Knight for um, the Handlock. Also, kind of an unconventional card. I don't see many Handlocks play it. But what? sometimes it's, re it's really it's really good, especially in like the Mirror or if you're playing in slower decks. Oh, we notice a slight misplay. Where the Twilight Rake could have been a 410, but not really relevant in this in this situation. Yeah, because it's just going to get silent anyway. Yeah. But uh, about the Black Knight, I think it gained a lot of popularity even in in Handlock because of the um, Ancients of War and so many Ramptors going around. Oh, what is the bump going to hit? Oh, oh, the face. That was the worst outcome right <laughs> yeah. there. Now he needs to kill that BGH with the Wrath. I think he might be forced to force of nature next turn for a clear. Oh, the Lothab though. But he can't Lothab and Twilight Drake. I guess he wants to drop the Twilight here. He could Lothab and watch her though. But, but Wampi, obviously, Wampi is a, in a very good spot here, as we mm -hmm. can see. But uh, obviously what Wampi has to be mindful of at all times is the potential threat of the combo. So he needs to mm -hmm. either stay out of range of the combo or put some taunts up. Okay, so he goes for this. He does have the Sun Fury, which will mm -hmm. most likely be played here. I actually like, for example, uh, Lothab and Watcher. Oh, and this is very smart. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, very, yeah. Smart. very smart. Just giving the Ancient Watcher, predicting the Black Knight, basically. Mm -hmm. But what do you think about Lothab and Watcher? If you did that, you would set up lethal and disable completely all spells. He's a 13 right now as a Druid, and the Mountain would survive. The Lothab would probably survive as well. It's smarter to play the low tap though when the druid is actually able to combo, so that would mean next turn low tap will be much better, I think. 
Well, you're not really in a position where you're going to lose to the combo because you can manipulate the board as much as you want from the handlock perspective right now. And that's lethal on board, anyway. So, Wampi takes game three and he's in the lead with 2 1. Yeah, very very well played by both players, and Wampi also showing showing us some handlock moves. Yep. Some crucial attacks with the giant um, with the mountain giant on the Amani Berserker, and also um, that it's only giving the Ancient Watcher taunt. Very very smart plays by Wampi overall. Going going actually a very strong performance by Wampi, as I can tell. Yeah, it has been so far. And already putting powder down to his last deck, which is going to be Warlock. Which warlock, though? That's what we're about to find out. Yeah, it's probably handlock since he opted not to play it into Hunter. And since the meta got greedier in theory, 